I'll show you how you can plan and execute tasks associated with sales opportunities. We're going to take a look at opportunities, look at the sales cycles that can be attached to opportunities, look at the activities within that, and then look at the tasks that are automatically created when that sales cycle is applied to the opportunity. So let's get started. Let's start a new opportunity here. I'm in my opportunity list. I'm going to click a new opportunity. Here's my new opportunity. I'm going to assign it to a new sales cycle code. We'll call it jobs. When I do that, the opportunity will automatically create tasks associated with that sales cycle. Let's take a look at the sales cycle. Here are the sales cycles I have in my system. For a sales cycle, there's going to be stages through which a sales cycle progresses. And for each stage, there's going to be an activity code. And the activity code will complete a number of different tasks that need to be completed. Let's take a look at this activity code. I've got two tasks that are going to be created when I activate this particular activity in the opportunity. This opportunity has not been activated yet, so let's go ahead and do that. See down here that the sales stage has been activated. It has also created tasks. Let's take a look at that. It automatically created these two tasks. You see they have not been completed. To complete these tasks, I'm going to edit these tasks. It brings up the task here. So this task at this point has not been completed. I have different statuses that I can assign to this task, but let's assume that it's all been done. This task has been done, which is to verify the quality of the opportunity. Again, this was automatically created by the opportunity when I assign the sales cycle to it. I'm gonna mark this as closed. When I do that, I want it to create an interaction log entry. So I can look at all the interactions I have with this opportunity and also with this contact. I can specify the type of interaction that it was. This is just a phone call. I'll select that. I can add additional information on here if I want to. I can add comments. These comments can be saved with the task and also reported on later. I'm going to hit OK. This task will show as completed and the interaction will be updated. So here I've got still two tasks. I've got one completed. I can look at the interactions. Let's go back to the opportunity here. If I go to opportunity, I can see the interaction that was just created by closing out that task. Here's the interaction right here. I can see comments associated with that interaction. And that's really the whole process within Business Central. I created an opportunity, I assigned a sales cycle to it. Within the sales cycle, there are a number of activities associated with that and tasks associated with those activities. Now tasks can be automatically created like I just showed you, but they can also be manually created and they can be assigned to others. One way that a salesperson can look at their task is go into the salesperson card here, select a salesperson, and then look at the tasks. These are the tasks that are assigned to the salesperson. So a salesperson can look at this on a regular basis and stay on top of their tasks and make sure that they are following a sales cycle that's associated with their many opportunities. Business Insights is a Power BI reporting tool that connects the data in Business Central. And there's one for CRM. Let's take a look at that. And there's two dashboards that look at interactions. You can look at the interaction overview. I can use Power BI to filter on specific salespersons if I want. Let's select the one we were just looking at. And I can also use the filters on the right-hand side to really drill down and find out what's happening on the interactions and also on the opportunities themselves. And here's a dashboard with interaction log entries. You can see that I have the individual log entries, but I also have the comments. So tasks in Business Central can be assigned through the opportunity automatically, but they can also be created manually. And I can also create the interactions manually too without having to go to a task first. Mm -hmm.